hey, 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 and welcome to Brooklyn's Barbie Bay. And as you can see, we are back with another unboxing of the G3 Monster High dolls. I now have Draculaura and Frankie, and these are the last two girls to enter our cool coffee bean set. Ta-da! With the rest of our girls. So sit back, relax, and let's unbox some Monster High dolls. I think Jackie, Laura, and Frankie are probably the most popular of Monster High um, dolls that have ever come out in our series. <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, they are like my semi faves. Um, Jackie, Lear, Jackie, Laura is one of one that's really been growing on me, and I'm really liking this doll currently as a G3 doll. Um, so I can't wait to get her out of the package. So I tell you what, let's start with Draculaura first. Okay, so now that I have Draculaura out of the box, I'm very pleased with um, what she looks like. I love the fact that she is a curvy girl. She's got a curvy body. So I'm absolutely loving that. One of the things that um, I immediately love about her is the fact that she still has her Draculaura look, but she is a curvy girl. I love, look at Dr. Laura's little hips with a little dip. Let me take her off her stand. A couple of things before I take her off her stand, just to remember that um, with Jackie Laura, some things that you don't get that are like sad to me is, um, well, all the dolls to be um, clear, you don't get a stand. So this is my doll stand that I have plenty of these to showcase my dolls. Um, so yeah, you don't get a doll stand and you don't get a doll brush, which, you know, I still have some of my doll brushes um, so I still have them so if you don't have um, you know like older dolls older monster high dolls that have you know your own brushes you know then you're gonna have to kind of find something to brush your dolls hair with so let's check out Draculaura off of the doll stand Draculaura um, I believe she is supposed to be 1600 Right. So you remember on the other um, boxes, they would tell you like she's 16. She's the daughter of, you know, Dracula on the back of these new G3 boxes. OK, they don't give you that much. Right. So it just says um, her monster um, type is fantastic vampire. Her must have is SPF 500 and cherry juice and her monster pet is count fabulous. So it doesn't go into, you know, how. The other Monster Highs had that whole, remember these, had these whole, you know, books about the person, about the Monster High doll. Um, so it, I feel like in that aspect, we got a whole lot more. Um, and so we didn't get that with these G3 girls, but, or ghouls, but maybe they're making up for it with the accessories. So I, you know, I'll take it. And because I still have some old, you know, things from my Monster High days back in the day. Um, that's okay for me. But just to let you know, she doesn't come with a doll stand. You will have to get your own doll stand. So let's bring her a little closer. Um, and look at her beautiful face. I make, oh, see, isn't she pretty? She's got, I love the fact that she's got the little bat earrings and one is pink and one is black. I love the fact that they kept her true aesthetic with the pink and black hair. One side of the hair is black. One side of the hair is pink all the way around. Um, she also has her hair bow, her hair, um, her headband. I kept the little ties to keep it in because I thought it was super cute and I didn't want to lose it. Um, and then you see she's got like a little bat on there. Her shirt, I love the puff sleeves. And as you can see, she does have all her uh, points of articulation in the shoulder, the elbow, in the wrist, in the leg. She can bend back, um, not in the ankle, okay? Um, she does move with the torso all the way around. Very good. She's got great head rotation. She's like, oh my God, what are you doing to me? Um, and she's got on a really cute top. She's got, I love the black bow in the, in the front of it. And it looks like from the black bow, there's like a little amulet there. I love that it's like a shirt. You know how you have the shirts with the shirt over it? So I think that's what they're, um, we're going for. Um, I love the rouging and the, that comes down. And then she's got her little shorts with the hearts her black shorts with white hearts very very cute um and then i love the thigh highs and her little cute boots i mean excuse me her heels these are not boots 
So use the same boots. So Jackie Laura looks very, very cute. Um, let's see here. Put her back on the stand so we can talk about it a little bit more. So yeah, so she's our 1600 girl. If I'm going on the information from before, she also comes with this really cute backpack. Super cute because it's got like bat wings. Isn't that cute? Very cute backpack. And it looks like, again, like the other backpacks, you can kind of open them a little bit, like to stick something in there, probably like their snacks or whatever have you. She also comes with her cherry juice. <laughs> Is cherry juice supposed to be like blood juice? I don't know, but it's cute. And it has a little straw on it. And then she also comes with um, fantastic, um, what was her, her little toy's name? I think it was Count Fabulous. So here's Count Fabulous. I don't have the original one like to compare it to, but I'm quite sure this one looks as happy as the other pets. Dracula also comes with a cape, which I thought was really cute. Her little Dracula cape. And it's got hearts on it and bats on it and everything. It's really, really, really cute. And you just ties in the front, it looks like. So we'll put it on her in a minute. Then she comes with her pair of sunglasses. They're bat sunglasses. All the ghouls have to put that on. I'll put it on her in a minute. Then the small accessories are, I'm not sure what this is, but it looks like a little shell. I don't know why it's looking like a shell, but something goes in here. And maybe it is, oh, you know what? It's a pretzel. Maybe the pretzel goes in here. Yeah. Okay. So she's got her little pretzel. You know how you buy it and it has like a wrap? I think that's what that is. But her pretzel has eyes on it. Mm. She's got her suntan, her 500. She needs that. So that'll go definitely in her book bag. And then she's got her coffin phone. So she can call her ghouls and let them know I'm on the way, y'all. Okay. So let me put on her little bit of accessories and show you what she looks like all dressed up. Okay, so here we have Dracula all ready to go. She has her cherry juice. She has her backpack, backpack, backpack. She has her um, outfit. She's got her cape on, her glasses. She's got her pet and her pretzel. I couldn't find anywhere to put the pretzel at, guys. So it'll just have to be our prop. Oh, wait, maybe. oh, this way. Okay. So I, it'll just have to be a little prop. So Jackie Laura, I absolutely love her. I love her as a plus size girl, as a curvy girl, as a curvy doll. I love the fact that um, Monster High really has taken the time to really diversify all of these, these beautiful dolls. So I'm excited to get into Frankie now. Okay, so our last ghoul that we're opening today is our Frankie. And they always say, you say the best for last. So Frankie, on the back of her box, it says that her monster type is Voltageous um, Frankenmonster. Um, monster must have is the eye coffin and Screebza. I don't know what a Screebza is. And Waltzy is her, um, her pet, Watsy. So let's get Frankie out of the box and talk about her as well. Okay, and here is Frankie out of the box. Um, she's very, very cute. I like Frankie. She's one of my, also one of my favorites. And the one thing I was really concerned at, about was whether she was going to look like the, you know, the new Monster High movie that they have coming out, that the dolls were going to look exactly like the characters. And I'm really glad that they don't because the Frankie on there, I'm not really like pleased with. Um, she doesn't really look like Frankie to me. I don't know. I haven't seen the movie, but just the clips that I've seen, I didn't like it. And then somebody, I think like leaked some photos or something or maybe they made their own pictures of the monster high thinking that that was going to be the play line and <clears throat> i was just like i didn't like it i didn't like the shade the side of the shaved head um on that one because the one that's in the multi-pack with deuce looks good so it just didn't look like frankie to me and, and so i think some of us are still wanting you know those still those you know 2010 monster high girls we don't mind you know the remake of it and the reboot of it i think it's amazing what they're doing but you know when you lose you know some of the true identity of your character you, you're kind of like uh so i'm so glad that mattel kept frankie looking like frankie so i was really happy to see this um so let's get right into her she still has her gorgeous hair um it is black and white 
I love how they did that as well. Just kind of tinseled it through. Now, one thing I will say about all the dolls is when I took them out of the packaging, a lot of, I'm showing you this, a lot of hair is coming out. Like, you know, it's shedding a lot. So hopefully, you know, these are probably newer dolls and, you know, Mattel is fixing that little problem. But I've got like, since I've brushed her, like a whole lot of hair has come out of her, her hair. So be mindful of that as well. Um, Frankie is on my doll stand because again, as you all know, they do not come with doll stands and they do not come with brushes, Monster High brushes. So I'm using my own um, Monster High brushes, you know, with my dolls from my 2010 dolls that I had. She has these really cute um, voltage like barrettes in her hair. I love her voltage, um, like that neon color in her ears. Very, very pretty. Her eyes are my favorite. You've got that one green eye. They kept that one blue eye. I also love that they put like a splash of blue in her hair, right? That's so pretty. I like that. She's got a really cute like schoolgirl outfit on. I love the plaid. I love the fact that the colors coincide, but you know, the patterns don't necessarily necessarily um, go together. Like not that they, go, they don't go together, but they don't match. So I love that. She's got a plastic, put it up closer. She's got like a chain belt on all one piece that you can and it says Frankie on it with some clips and stuff like that really cute her voltage shirt um, both pieces velcro in the back really cute um, what's new for me is Frankie's leg she's got like a prosthetic leg which is really cute a lot, of, a lot of people you know have talked about how they don't like it I like it I think it's really cute she's got her regular um, stitching on her I love her sneakers look at those sneakers with the volts on the side very very cute i'm loving it i do want to see though right if i take off this shoe what does frankie's foot look like let's do it together oh okay look so you got a, a regular little voltage shoe all the way i mean toe all the way down and she's got some graffiti on her leg and it says frankie on it you know somebody probably wrote some stuff on there she's got the same articulation as all the other dolls let me put her shoe back on very easy to come off and on very cute so I'm glad about that let's see what Frankie came with I think I feel like Frankie came with the most stuff I don't know you tell me what you think um, I love her little jacket so she comes with this really cute jacket this is monster high in the front reminds me of like a, a small little letterman jacket um, her bolts are on the arm sleeves and haha -ha, look at the back she's got her cute skull on the back her monster high skull then Frankie came with two things. She came with her voltage backpack. Really cute. I love the little, um, uh oh, I had it upside down, huh? There it is. The voltage backpack with the like, little hanging keychain on it. And then she also came with a little purse with a little eye. Isn't that cute? Look at the little eyeball on it. And it's got like some teeth. It's just attention and detail. I love that Monster High does, like Mattel does for these dolls. She's got her coffin foam, like the rest of the girls. They're all in different colors for each. And then hers also comes with um, like this little pizza. Like it's in the shape of a lightning bolt, but it's a pizza that she can hold. And then she's got like these two little pictures. I'm gonna see if I can get in here and show them to you. And these probably can go in her purse. They're like two little pictures of her and this her and um it says scaris it's her and Dracula Laura and then this one says Boo York Claudine and Cleo really cute so I think those can go inside her little purse she also comes with some really cute shades like voltage shades it looks like and her doggy yeah, Watsy, like what, like a what? So he's got some lightning bolts coming out the side of him. He's got his neon colored hair. This little pink scarf just matches our beautiful Frankie. I'll put him over there with the rest of the pets. And then let me put some of her things on so we can see how she looks. Okay, and here we go. We now have Frankie with her jacket on. Okay, she's got her book bag. Her glasses, her purse, and her phone. She's absolutely ready to join the rest of her ghoul friends at the Coffin Bean. So let's put her somewhere in here. 
Oh, Frankie says she can just stand right in the front. Oh, no, Frankie, Cleo says. <laughs> so I am absolutely happy. Let's go ahead and just show all these girls. Um, excited about the G3 series. Pluses and minuses for me, there really are none. I, I well, yes, there are. Let me, let me just be honest. So, um, okay, so there are some pluses and minuses. So the minuses, the only minuses for me are the fact that the dolls did not come with doll stands and that the dolls have shedding in their hair. When you take them out of the box, it's a good amount of shedding that's going on. Um, I also just wish that they could have had a lot more content and information about the girls because you have people that are just starting to collect Monster High who don't know the history and don't know anything about the ghouls. And I think that um, it would have been cool to kind of kept that aesthetic in there. And the other thing for me was the fact that the dolls have a lot of hair, beautiful hair, and they come with no combs. So how can you not have a brush or a comb for the dolls? You know, I thought that that was something that was a minus for me. The pluses. The pluses are everything these dolls are bringing to the table. I am stamping saying Absolutely. I love it. Um, they're getting tens across the board. I think Mattel again knocked it out of the park with this um, new generation um, set up and Monster High is kind of really taking over by storm right now. People are trying to jump into stores to find them online to find them um, and they're kind of every other doll that we've been looking for and looking you know to play around with like our um, our Rainbow High dolls and our Shadow High dolls. I think I don't know let me know I feel like they're gonna have to take a bit of a back seat to our ghouls I mean they're here now I think that the monster high line is one of the strongest lines aside Barbie that um Mattel has put out um and I think if they were working hard behind the scenes to make sure that we were satisfied with this doll line and so that's why maybe we got a couple of things that we weren't so happy with with Barbie um then I can understand why I absolutely love these dolls and I cannot wait to bring you all the next um, dolls that come out, which I think is going to be Deuce, Torelai, and who else is it? Oh, Gulia. So as soon as I get those girls and guys, do not, don't even worry. I am going to do an unboxing. I'm going to do a video for you all. Until then, can you please like, subscribe, and comment on my channel. Thank you guys and have an amazing day. Say bye, girls. Bye.